after the first Lok Sabha election win. The Surat BJP candidate has won because all other candidates withdrew their nominations. The Congress has lashed out at the BJP. The Congress claims democracy is under threat because the BJP Surat candidate has won without any elections. The Congress's allegation is that the BJP is attempting to fix the match in Surat. This is the first reaction coming in from the Congress. Remember that Mukesh Dalal, the BJP candidate in Surat, has won as there were no other candidates in the fray. So polling hasn't even happened in Gujarat yet. We have only completed the first phase across the country and already you have the first seat being won by the BJP. The Congress has reacted to this, alleging that this is democracy under threat and that the BJP is match-fixing in Surat has led to this particular win without any elections actually being held. There will be questions, however, as to why the Congress failed to actually put up a candidate in Surat that helped the BJP actually go ahead and post a win even before the elections took place. Brijesh Doshi is joining us live with more details on this. Brijesh, reactions coming in from the Congress where they're claiming that the BJP has actually fixed the match to ensure this kind of a win. But take us through the technicality of how Mukesh Dalal won. Where was the Congress candidate? Uh, see, Akshita, uh, as the uh, Mukesh Dalal has won, officially has been declared uncontested uh, from the Surat Lok Sabha seat, he got the certification of election. Uh, so now he is uh, the MP of, uh, uh, MP of the new Lok Sabha. Uh, first MP of the new Lok Sabha and that is from Gujarat and Surat. Uh, so this is a big win for BJP, uh, though Congress is, uh, 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 Congress is saying that it's a, uh, these are the foul cry from the Congress right now. Uh, yesterday itself Congress has uh, asked the returning officer, uh, they have, uh, they, they claim many things uh, but they, they were not able to prove uh, the, uh, the signatures of their, uh, uh, all the, uh, uh, you know, on the affidavit. So uh, that's why the technicalities where uh, Congress was on the part of technicalities, uh, they are claiming that it was a foul game from the BJP but it, it, it isn't. Uh, there was a fault from the Congress candidate. He was not sure about the signatures done on his uh, form by the uh, four, uh, uh, the, the, the all four uh, prestaks of the uh, candidate of Nilesh, uh, Nilesh Kumbani as well as his dummy candidate. So uh, this was a technical reason because of which uh, both the uh, form of the Congress candidates were uh, rejected by the retaining officer. After that. Uh, today, uh, eight candidates who were independent or the uh, from the other party, they withdrawn their uh, nomination uh, nominations. Uh, so that's why BJP's Mukesh Dalal won uncontested today. He was declared uncontested winner uh, from the Surat Lok Sabha seat. Uh, this is the first win for the BJP, and as well as uh, this is the first uh, uncontested MP of the BJP uh, from the BJP's history. So uh, this is a big win for BJP uh, right now. Uh, BJP chief, Gujarat BJP chief uh, C. A. Patil is addressing, addressing the uh, press conference where he is claiming that uh, these are the false allegations by the Congress on the BJP. Congress is uh, Congress has never uh, us, for Rajesh, the election. Is uh, that the Congress put up a candidate? His nomination was cancelled because of discrepancies in the signatures in the of the proposers of his nomination. Then they put up a second candidate. The backup candidate's nomination was also rejected on similar grounds. And all the other candidates in the fray also pulled out of the race, correct? What was the reason that they had cited for pulling out of the race and thereby ensuring uh, that, you know, Mukesh Dalal won with absolutely no contest? Uh, definitely, Akshita, both the, both the forms of the uh, Congress candidates were rejected on the ground of uh, the signature okay, of the proposals. Rajesh, my apologies. Uh, I'm just going to come across to you. Let's get the first reaction from the BJP. Rohan Gupta, who's just switched over from the Congress to the BJP, is now joining us on the phone line. Mr. Rohan Gupta, you've got the Congress saying here that democracy is under threat. Without any election, the BJP's candidate in Surat, Mukesh Dalal, has won. See, you cannot question BJP in the name of democracy all the time. There is a process which has been laid down by election commission which needs to be followed by anybody, whether it is independent candidate or Congress candidate and all that. So if you have, if you are filling up your form and your supporters who say that we have not, you know, signed, then there is a serious question, right? Under In, in the name of democracy, you cannot just bypass the basic process which has been laid down by election commission. 
And even after that, if you feel that there is something wrong in rejecting the form, obviously you can uh, go to high court and definitely ask whatever is true. It will no, be the there. Congress has but done that. that. They moved the court. But Rohan Gupta, the Congress is also questioning how both of their candidates' nominations is rejected. That is one point. The other is that all the other candidates in the fray immediately pulled out. So nobody was left, essentially, to fight Mukesh Dalal. See, I think, number one, as far as uh, Congress party is concerned, they can definitely question why their candidate nomination was rejected. And the reason, I think, what I see from that, that the supporters, the people who have supported the nomination, they have said that they have not signed, number one. Number two, if this decision, if it is wrong under the eyes of law, once they are filed in high court, they should wait for the high court decision in this respect. If it is something the due process is not followed by the, the, the officer, I think the high court will definitely take decision. But once high court takes decision, whatever the decision, whatever the truth should prevail, but okay. once the high court gives the decision, I think everybody should respect that. Then, then that could not be a question that, again, oh, again, okay. the, you know, this, this is also compromise. No. Okay, Rohan Gupta, thanks for joining us. Mumtaz Patel is joining us on this broadcast. Ma'am, what do you have to say about this particular win in Surat? Even before elections, the BJP candidate has won. And that's largely because two of the candidates were fielded by the Congress, one and then the other, their nominations were rejected for technical reasons because the signatures, they had discrepancies. Um, really, really unfortunate. Uh, I don't know what happened behind the scenes, but this is why uh, we're fighting and we're saying that democracy is in danger. And uh, even before the elections can happen, our father is deeply disappointed. Uh, I think uh, they should have waited for the High Court to give the decision, but uh, really unfortunate the way uh, the Congress form got rejected and the rest of uh, the independents have been withdrawn their candidature. So but why do you believe uh, there's, there's a conspiracy there's... here, Mumtaz Patel? You know, this is the there's, due process that's definitely. followed, which is that when someone no, files their nomination, it's scanned, it's screened through, and if it didn't pass the test, well, it didn't. There were discrepancies unanswered for. Mm -hmm. Definitely some foul play involved, and uh, uh, I mean, this, 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 is, this is what precisely the India Alliance is fighting against. No, but Mumtaz Patel, this is the process that's usually followed, which is that when someone files a nomination, the papers are scanned, are screened, are scrutinized, and if it doesn't pass the test, then the nomination isn't accepted. Why do you believe there's a conspiracy here? Because how how do three witnesses suddenly like you know uh, disappear? How do their signatures not work? Uh, how do eight other independent candidates suddenly like now withdraw their nomination? Uh, this is like a walkover. There's definitely foul play. Okay, so you're alleging foul play here. I know that the Congress has already moved the Gujarat High Court. What's going to be your next step now to challenge the decision taken by the Election Commission of declaring Mr. Mukesh Dalal as the winner from Surat? So don't you think that uh, we should have waited for the High Court decision? I mean, how can you just hand over the certificate? How can EC just hand over the certificate to the BJP candidates? And if this is this is a trend that goes, who knows? I mean, this is why we say democracy is in danger. Next time elections happen, this is what's going to happen. I mean, uh, forms get rejected, uh, people just withdraw, and uh, the BJP candidates get a walkover. This is like already one uh, win, even uh, without contesting the election. Mumtaz Patel, you know, constantly the charge against the Congress is that they're lax, that they worked, moved too slowly, and that's what leads to the BJP getting the lead here. Do you think that was the case in Surat as well, that the Congress should have acted earlier, that your party should have acted earlier in addressing the discrepancies in the nomination form, and maybe today we wouldn't be seeing this happen? No, that, I mean, a lot of introspection is definitely needed. I will not uh, deny that at all. Uh, but let's hope at this particular point of time, this particular seat, uh, I again reiterate and repeat that uh, we should have waited for the High Court to give its decision. Of course, we would follow uh, whatever the court says, but uh, this was like too much of a rush uh, to just uh, declare the candidate, uh, uh, to declare the BJP candidate uh, for his win. All right, Mumtaz Patel, thank you very much for joining us here on India Today with your reaction to that big news break that's coming in of the first win in the ongoing elections, only phase one done. The results are expected on June 4th, even for that phase. And yet, you've already got the first win coming in from Surat. BJP's Mukesh Dalal winning because the Congress's candidates' nomination was rejected. And then you had all the other independents, all the other parties backing out of the race. Leading for, in fact, paving the way for him to be named as the Member of Parliament from Surat.